a big boxing evening took place in Dallas, during which blogger Jake Paul and former UFC star Nate Diaz fought in the ring. The opponents fought 10 rounds of 3 minutes each, the fight ended with the victory of the YouTuber by a judicial decision. Nate Diaz retired from the UFC in 2022, ending his career in the league with a win over Tony Ferguson. Fifteen glorious years in the organization came just in time. Already at the time of the fight with Ferguson, Diaz clearly intended to fight Jake Paul, and the victory over Tony only made the upcoming grip with the blogger even more expected. Speaking about the main achievements of Diaz in the UFC, it is worth remembering first of all how he inflicted the first defeat in the league to the still peak Conor McGregor this is still considered one of the main upsets in history. It should also be noted that Nate once fought for the lightweight belt and won the Ultimate Fighter project. Jake Paul became famous in the boxing world in 2020. The blogger became famous by arranging fights with YouTube stars or former basketball players. In 2021, Paul took a risk by entering the ring with former belator champion and former top UFC welterweight Ben Askren and suddenly won by a striking knockout. After that, Jake began to be taken much more seriously, and in the next two years he had a chance to fight in the ring with such stars as Tyron Woodley twice and Anderson Silva. Both Paul beat, and Woodley in one of the cases even knocked out. In February of this year, the blogger decided to raise the level of opposition and entered the ring with a pro boxer from a well-known family in the industry Tommy Fury. Paul managed to impose resistance on a more skilled opponent, but he could not win this time. Paul went to fight with Diaz after his first defeat in the ring, and yet many considered Jake the favorite. Nate was not famous for some kind of skillful boxing technique, speaking in the UFC, but his punching technique always looked albeit clumsy, but sometimes quite effective. And it was interesting to see how he adapts his style to a boxing match. The result was something rather strange. Diaz grimaced a lot, gesticulated and tried to show with his whole appearance that the result of the fight with Paul did not really care about him. The beginning turned out to be a failure for Nate, although towards the end the picture was somewhat trimmed. In the end, Paul won the expected decision, and Diaz was certainly pleased with the performance check.